This is season two of Mystery Meat. Same format as last time, we get the meat from Haltman. We don't know what it is, we cook it. The difference is, we're in South Dakota. We brought the meat all the way across the country in coolers, and we're opening up one by one as we go through each episode. The scenery should be epic, I'm looking forward to it. So I climbed a little bit of a cliff here uh, in South Dakota. The view is just spectacular. You can see the cliff behind me here. Um, obviously this would be a great spot for a mystery meat episode. All right, we're ready to go with this episode. We got a double flame right here. Got our mystery meat. I'm gonna cut into it and see what we got. Let's see what they sent along today. Look at this. I believe it's a pork chop. Sure enough, nice inch thick cut bone in pork chops of some variety. I'm gonna pop these right on the grill. Uh, I'm gonna do a little salt and pepper on each side and we'll throw on the, on the double flame here. They should not take long at all to cook. Um, and you really wanna be conscious of that internal temperature because pork, man, it gets dry fast if you go, uh, if you get, get it too well done. So I'm gonna season these first and then we'll throw them on the grill. So we usually go salt first and then pepper after that. Let's transfer these to the grill. You can hear we got a nice sear going already. All right, time to give these chops a quick flip. You'll notice I have the grill a bit higher than I do typically for steak, and that's because pork, um, you don't want to go quite as high temperature. All right, I think we'll give them a flip. I'm shooting for an internal temperature around 145, and then I'll pull them and let them rest for about three minutes, and uh, we'll cut into them. All right, it's time to pull them off. So we left the pork chops rest uh, for a couple minutes, and uh, now I'm gonna slice into one, cut in a few pieces, check out the color texture, and uh, see how they taste. It's about perfect. Juicy, but uh, being as it's pork, we don't want it to be uh, too rare. Uh, I would say those are about right, but now here comes a true test. Got a piece, here we go. I don't know about you, but I often find that pork chops can get a little dry. Uh, these weren't, they are great, nice and juicy. And I think the key there was pulling them off at 145 and not letting them go up to the 150, 160, um, which is really where they start to dry out. So use a the thermo pen and make sure your, your pork are at 145 uh, before you pull them off. Thanks for joining us on this cliff today. We'll see you in the next episode.